Yes, sir. It's official, baby. It's official, baby. After 16 years, baby, your boy is finally a U.S. citizen, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. As you can see, man, I just became a United States citizen, baby. You feel me? I just got up from the office, you know, took my oath, pledged my allegiance to the United States. So let's talk about my Jenny, man. Let's talk about the Jenny. So you said, man, you know, I came, I came to the United States 2006. And it's 2023. I'm finally a U.S. citizen, baby. As you can see, I got a letter from the president, Joe Biden. I don't know if you guys can see, baby. I don't know if you guys can see from the president. Today, you have earned a new title that is the greatest honor our de democracy can come for, citizen of the United States of America, baby. Straight from the White House. <laughs> and I got my, what's it called, too? My certificate. My certificate, I don't want to show you guys. You feel me? I got my certificate. <laughs> God, God bless America, baby. God bless America. So yeah, like I said, I came here in 06, baby. I found my, what's it called? My citizenship in 2020. Trust me, it, it was crazy. So I waited two years. You know, I was going back and forth with the, you know, USCIS. Because they were telling me they couldn't find my file. You know, one thing I tell you guys, they don't panic. You know, I came to the Fairfax. I'm talking about a Fairfax location, Fairfax, Virginia. You know, from the security, from the customer service to the officer. The officer was very, very nice to me, man. God bless that officer, man. I forgot the officer's name, but the officer was very, very nice. You know, I had a couple issues, you know, I made some mistakes, you know. And the office credit, you know, whatever they, you know, they're going to go through all your application with you. You know, it took like 30, 45 minutes, you know. I had a little, you know, background issue, you know, criminal record, like a misdemeanor. Which happened in 2012, you feel me? So I explained to the officer, you know, what, what, the, what the issue was, you know. So at the end of the interview, you feel me? And guess what? I was rescheduled three times, man. It, it was driving me crazy, you know? If you're filing for citizen, don't go online and be doing a lot of research because it's going to drive you crazy. You feel me? Just wait. Every single case is going to be different. You feel me? Every single case is going to be different. So just wait for your time, you know, let let it wait to just schedule you so you can go in there and talk to an officer. Because don't go online. It's going to drive you crazy. I was going to the USCIS website every single day, checking and see what's going on, you know. It was two years, you know. I wasn't hearing from them. They told me they don't have my file. The first time they called me and told me, They've not received my file, so they rescheduled me. That day came, they rescheduled me. The day came, I was rescheduled three times. Like, mind you, I filed in 2020. So last year, I believe September, October, I emailed them and asked them, you know, I want to know the status of my application, you know. So within two weeks, I received an email back with them telling me, I'm scheduled for the interview. So, you know, I gave it a month. I, th I believe my interview was November 5th, no November 1st, 2022. So I went in there, like I said, the interview went smoothly. It took like 30, 45 minutes, you know. If you don't have no criminal record, it's very, very fast, you know. 
all you're gonna have remember is you know let's say you file your your naturalization in 2023 they go back five years so 2022 2021 2020 2019 that's what they're going to be looking for the last five years the criminal record so i brought all my tickets all my criminal whatever i got i brought everything and there was a call the officer photo you know there was a call they took all my tickets they took all my what's it called I had a DUI too, but it got dismissed. I brought everything, you know, and they're gonna, what's it called? They, they're gonna make a photocopy of all your, so if you have any, they didn't ask me for more my tax return. I'm pretty sure they got that information already, you know, I paid my taxes. So all I brought was my, what's it called? My expired ID from my country. I brought my, what's it called? My green card, obviously. And I brought all my tickets and all my, what's it called? Since you, you've been in this country, you know? Like I said, I, I came here in 06. So I brought all my tickets and everything, you know? The, the officer was super nice, man. And in Fairfax, Virginia, I'm talking about Fairfax, Virginia. The people were super nice. I can't talk about everybody else. But me, my experience, they were super nice, baby. So yeah, baby, it's official, man. I'm officially a U.S. citizen, baby. This year, October, is going to be like 17 years, baby. 06 to 2023. Do the math. 17 years. Your boy is funny. A U.S. citizen, baby. Your boy is officially a U.S. citizen, baby. I can't show you guys my... I can't show you guys my, what's it called? My certificate. Because we were told not to show it. You feel me? So yeah, guys. If you are applying for citizen, make sure you take your time. When you fill in the application online, I was rushed. I don't, I don't even know why I was rushing. I was rushing online. You need to go through your application very well before you submit it. Because once you submit it, you can't go back and change nothing. So you gotta be careful once you're filling out your M400 to become a, you know, naturalized for a citizen. You need to go through those questions very well, you know. Some officers also gonna ask you those questions like, you know, what is the oath, oath of allegiance, you know. And my, my officer didn't ask me those questions, but I did learn it, you know. The civic text was very, very easy, you know. They asked me a sixth question. I answered all the six questions, I believe it was one of the question was, I forgot what they asked me, but you know, I really didn't study. I, you know, I watched the YouTube video the same day I was taking my, what's it called? My naturalization, you know, interview. And it, it was very, very, very simple. I watched a YouTube video and I went in there and I passed. So, you know, I wish you guys all the best. If you are planning to become a, cit a citizen, you know, go ahead and do it by, you know, it's very, very simple. If you don't have no criminal record, it's very, very easy. Like I say, you need to remember all, you know, five years, they go back five years. So wherever you live in five years, you need to know where you live. You know, they don't care about the month. They don't care about the day. It's just the years. You should, you should remember every year, whatever address you've lived at. You feel me? Because the officer is going to ask you when you get over there. They're going to ask you, all your previous addresses you've lived in in the last past five years. You feel me? So yeah, man. Your boy is officially a U.S. citizen, baby. Let's go ahead and pick up this big bass, baby. God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. Let's get it. Peace out. I wish you guys all the best, baby. God bless America. I'm officially a U.S. citizen, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. Boss, God bless America and God bless everybody, baby. Let's get it. Boss.